Evernote is one of the most popular note-taking and productivity apps around. It's been going a long time and many marketers and business folks use it, including myself. But did you know that there's a whole bunch of formatting keyboard shortcuts available that will make typing up notes much easier? In this video, I'm going to walk you through all of them and hopefully make you a little more productive. Thanks for watching. Now, don't forget to subscribe. You kind of know how to do that, don't you? Uh, don't forget to check out the complimentary podcast, which is called Not Another Marketing Podcast. There's over 130 episodes. Yeah, loads. Uh, and uh, there's links to, uh, to, to that and, and also Evernote as well in the description. There's also a link to my short productivity training session called Balance, which uh, is designed specifically for marketing and creative agencies. So check all that out. Now, Evernote has been going forever for a long, long time. And it's a really popular note-taking productivity project management app. And I've used it for kind of planning out campaigns, taking meeting notes, organising my podcast and a whole lot more. Now, when they released their new app, which was just over a year or so ago, uh, Evernote introduced some markdown formatting shortcuts that can make your life a lot easier. You can kind of keep your fingers on the keyboard and still make things look pretty as well. A couple of things to quickly mention, though. Um, first, Evernote is not a markdown app. It kind of just uses markdown shortcuts for formatting. And secondly, I'm using the web version of Evernote in this demo, but everything should work fine on the Windows, the Mac, uh, Android and iPhone apps. I've not tested it on iPhone because I don't have one. And I've used only a few of these shortcuts on Android. So, again, your mileage may vary. Let's get on with it. OK, so what I've done is open up a new Evernote note in full screen so we can kind of concentrate on what we're doing. I'm going to try and make this as exciting as possible because, let's face it, it's not that exciting. <laughs> but we're going to try and make it exciting. Uh, we're going to start off with headers, OK, paragraph headers. You know, when you're making notes, you can just leave headers for your paragraphs. Really simple. Evernote gives us three of them. So on the little formatting bar at the top if you want to use your mouse you can go large header medium letter header small header okay so the way we do this uh, using the little markdown uh, shortcuts is to use the hash symbol the pound symbol whatever you want to call it one of these things here yeah okay use one of those so we use one for heading one the largest heading okay and we type one of these little little hashes and then space bar and heading one fabulous Fabulous. If we want to do heading to the medium one, surprisingly, we use two of them like that. And then the space bar. And we can go heading two. And then, I know this is going to surprise you, if you want heading three, the smallest one, you use three of them. And then with space bar and heading... Oh dear. Heading three. There we go. That's better. Heading one, heading two, heading three. Absolutely brilliant for kind of like paragraph headings when you're taking notes. Right, let's move on to checklists. We can do checklists. Uh, Evernote gives us checklists in the formatting bar at the top. Here, we can click it and you get a little box that you can check or uncheck like so. But if we don't want to use our mouse and we don't want to use this formatting bar at the top, all we use is the square brackets and then hit space. So we go open square bracket, close square, square bracket, Hit space, and we've got a little check. As simple as that. And when you hit enter, it gives you another one. If you want to clear that and start writing normal text, all you do is hit enter again, and it goes. Okay. Now, do you want to do a checked checkbox? A checkbox that's already checked, because you can do that. So we'd use square bracket, X, close the square bracket, space bar. We've got a checked box. Checked box. When you hit enter with one of these, it just gives you a normal checkbox, unchecked. Okay. And again, if you want to kind of clear it, we just hit enter again, like so. Brilliant. Okay. Numbered lists. They're exciting. We can do those in a couple of different ways. We can go one, dot, full stop, space bar, and we get a number. So one, and then two, and then three. Again, hit spacebar a couple of times to get out of that list. Do you want to do it slightly differently? You can do. We can go one bracket like so, and we get the same thing happen. Okay, brilliant. Do you want to do a bullet list, an unordered list, something that isn't with numbers? 
Let's do that. Really simple. We can use the hyphen, and that gives us a bullet. Okay, so we can go one, two, like so. We can also use the plus symbol, plus space bar, and we get another bullet like so. And we can also use the asterisk, the star, on the keyboard. Star, space bar, and again, we get the bullets. Dead easy. Okay, one of the little shortcuts that I use loads and loads and loads is the divider line. I use dividers all over the place, surprisingly to divide sections of my notes. So what we do is we use three little hyphens like that in a row, hit enter, bingo, we got a very cool divider line. That's cool, I like that. Okay, next is a code block. You might not want to write much code. Now, I, I, you might want to write code. You might not. I tend to use code blocks for kind of leaving, I don't know, sort of like important information within a note that might stand out. I'll show you what a code block is. Now, this uses, I think it's called the tilde symbol on the key. So it's basically to the left of number one on most kind of keyboards. So we go, it's that there. Yeah, we use three of those and then hit enter. And you get a, a block where you can, where you can write stuff like so. And then you can write lots of stuff. Um, I find this useful to, I put little snippets of code if I need to in that. But I also use it for kind of drawing attention to certain areas of a note, maybe a meeting note. Uh, maybe I might have a date in there or a time or something like that or something important. It's quite useful. So instead of having like a big block like that, maybe you want to just write a little bit of code or something. Well, we can do that. And what we do is we use that little, I think it's the tilde key, that, that same little thingy there. And then we can write something and then use another one of them and hit enter. And we just get a really short little code block there. So again, you could just write something in code or you could write a little bit of text that you just want to stand out within a, a note. Tables are cool. Evernote gives us a chance to do tables, you know, and store stuff in tables. And there's a really quick and easy way of creating tables. And I love this, to be honest with you. I really like this. So what we do is we use the square brackets again. So we wanted to go square bracket, square bracket, square bracket times four. Now, what that should give me is a three column table, OK, with four rows. So we've got square bracket, square bracket, square bracket, three of those for the columns. And then we go times four, which gives us four rows. Hit enter. And bingo! We have one, two, three columns and four rows. Fabulous. That is really quick and really easy way to create a table. And finally, the last one, emojis. They're really important emojis are really important, probably the most important part of the meeting. I think emojis are useful, to be quite honest with you. I use them quite a lot just to highlight certain areas of text, like I use pointy little hands and, and things like that and uh, and stuff. I also use them in my, my list of notebooks in Evernote to make notes stand out. You can use them however you want, basically. So you can do an emoji. So we go full colon, smile, full colon, enter, and we get a smile. Brilliant. We can go full colon, grin, full colon, and we get a grin, and then we can go full thumbs up. Fantastic. So experiment with those. Um, I, I try lots of different ones and they don't work because I'm using the wrong words and wrong phrases. So just experiment uh, with those and you should be able to um, get the emoji that you want. Uh, so that's it. Those are the kind of like the little shortcuts that you can use to write your notes a little bit quicker. That's it. Uh, hopefully that'll make your life a little bit easier. Don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and you'll get notified when more videos are done. Uh, don't forget the podcast, Not Another Marketing Podcast. Just search on your favourite podcast player uh, or check the links in the description. And also a quick shout out for my productivity training as well, which is called Balance, designed for marketing creative agencies, designed to kind of like make you more productive and get more of a work-life balance thing going on. So all the links... Uh, uh, everything in the description. Thanks for watching.